Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. I'm super excited. Today we got a marathon sponsored by Dave. Thank you so much, Dave, for making the video happen of Bonnie Raitt. Um, and I've seen some footage of her uh, from other marathons and from other videos. Actually, one that was requested by, uh, I think it was RG. Oh my God. So this woman plays an amazing slide guitar. Um, you know, here we have the slide. I'm not very good at this yet. Uh, I still, I just have to put in another thousand hours or something, but, uh, she's just amazing. And I love her composition, um, you know, compositions, her lyrics and just her whole, whole demeanor. She's very positive and she lights up the stage. Uh, we're not going to watch any videos. I know you know her. Um, and uh, But uh, we're going to do more audios today. So this is a marathon just consisting of her from different eras in time. And I'm going to read you the, uh, the songs. Um, so everybody welcome, of course, uh, new or old to the channel. And uh, here we go. So this is how uh, we're going to do a Love Me um, Like a Man from Give It Up. This is in uh, 1972. Then we're going to do I Feel the Same with Taking My Time, 1973. From the same album, we're going to do Guilty. And then we're going to do Nick of Time from the album Nick of Time. This is 89. This is more the one that I know, the Bonnie Raitt that I've seen in videos the way she looks here and then made uh up mind by just like that of 2022 and i know that she won the best um i think best song of the year which is not on this list but i mean dave sent me a email telling me that she won best um best song of the year which is super cool imagine some uh, i mean an artist uh from the 70s still relevant today and winning you know these amazing prizes so that's just fantastic i think well deserved of course so let's get into it um give me just one second and we'll start the video all right all ready to go i wanted to apologize i'm a little bit under the weather so my you know, I, I may sound very nasally. <laughs> so here we go with uh, Love Me Like a Man. Here we go. These men that I've been seeing, baby, got their soul up on the shelf. You know they could never let how they captured the sound of the guitar it's not directly connected to the console it's through a mic like this because you can hear basically the strings being plucked you know i love that and especially 
it's an electroacoustic guitar. You can hear it. You can hear the depth of the guitar. You can hear basically this, what you see that the, the hole, of course, that's the sound that you get when you record through a mic instead of just directly to the, um, to the guitar, to the, uh, um, oh my God, I don't know the word. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't, um, the pick, uh, though, not the pickups. Yeah. The pickups, the pickups. Oh my God. Um, yeah. Um, sorry. Like, like I said, I'm under the weather. I'm a little bit, you know, uh, on the slower side today, but yeah, um, the pickups just pick up the string, but the microphone picks up the whole motion of the hand, the pick itself, the sound of the pick. Um, I mean, the pickups do pick up the sound of the pick, but now that it's, it's more like a, here you can basically hear the whole you know what I mean, but it's just really wonderfully recorded. And then just the, the phrasing of, of the guitar, of the, of the lead guitar, it's beautiful. They all want me to rock them, like my back ain't got no bone. I want a man to rock me like my Beautiful blues um, progression here. Really, really cool. And that voice, like, love you black man. You know, that accent, really, really cool. Southern accent that I can't do, of course. <laughs> but man, what a what a beautiful lady and um, what an artist, man. I love her. Um, that, that, it just took that one video to fall in love, you know. And... Um, just the way she moves the guitar like nothing on a Fender Strat with that, um, you know, she would do like this, you know, just and then pow. again, I guess she was even doing it on her middle finger, like a, a little bit thicker. I use it here. I usually use it on my pinky. I think there is different um, sizes of um, slides, but I think hers was on her middle finger. So cool. Um it's on the channel if you want to look it up, Reaction, um, to Bonnie Raitt. Um, but yeah, this one would come come up as well, of course. All right, so um, I Feel the Same is next, 1973, just a year after this recording. Let's see what, 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 uh, what we get. <laughs> Get me 
that slide guitar beautiful love the piano the bass everything is being like just played amazingly well you can't make it whole until you know what has been taken Um, guys, if you're fans of this and, um, and this is almost going to sound kind of like weird, but, um, because I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, um, check out Dire Straits, the first album, um, way in, from 1978. And it has, um, this album is just an album that I acquired very early in life. I think I had it on cassettes. Um, I kind of like discovered it in my parents like music and i don't know what what it was about the cover it practically doesn't show anything it's just yellow with someone standing there out of focus and i put it in and man you know water of love down the waterline sultans of swing it just has the sound this sound you know it has a very southern sound to it and i've always fascinated me the way he plays guitar mark knopfler and his brother still on in the band there and one of the first one of the my favorite debut i think albums of, of any band so um i never really got into dire straits afterwards because this was something that i couldn't overcome and the, the how good it sounded and i got a lot of stuff from there in, into my playing and i also I learned how to play with my thumb and the finger without a pick because I was such a Mark Knopfler fan. But yeah, check it out if you haven't. It really is going to remind you of this kind of music um, a lot. Um, really, really cool. Okay, this was just wonderfully performed, wonderfully recorded. Um, her voice is just stellar. Her, the playing, oh my God. That um, slide playing is just off the charts. Okay, from the same album, we're going to listen to Guilty. Here we go. Baby, I've been drinking 
shouldn't come by no more. But I found myself in trouble, dark, and I had no place else to go. I got some whiskey. Some cocaine from a friend, and I had to keep on moving till I was back in your. Beautifully, beautifully arpeggiated piano um, chords there. It almost reminded me of like classical music, and but the uh, the trumpet and you know the whole ensemble here was just beautiful, and the lyrics, of course, very um, of heartbreak, you know, and what you kind of go through and the stuff you do really cool i could really focus on the vocals because i don't know <laughs> very good uh, but also the music uh man what a great piece really cool very sad of course but um you know that's what it is you know heartbreak is the blues you know so man what a great voice Oof, she really went off on this one really 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 high i love her um Okay, Nick of Time is next uh, from the album Nick of Time. And this is from the 80s, um, 89. So this is, I think, when I saw her in that video, like 89. So like almost early 90s, something like that, the way she looks here. Um, okay, let's, let's, um, so that's a lot of years later. Let's see her, if her voice still sounds the same. Let's check it out.
know. I'm like, let's see if she still sounds the same. She sounds better, you know. Aging like fine wine, even the voice. So, man, so, so cool. This sounds almost more like something like, you know, Little Feet or like Steely Dan, you know. Very beautiful, very, very cool. Nice jazzy vibes. <laughs> So smooth smooth man i love it i love this music and then there's people you know unfortunately um this comes like for most like people that are only like rock 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 and i'm i'm a metal guy you know i love heavy metal i love rock music i love instrumental music jazz jazz fusion death metal you know and but i can't appreciate something like this and 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 to call something like this elevator music is my god i so so <laughs> it's just so bad you know i mean basically and i mean metal and rock should teach us you know to appreciate um, so when something is smooth and, and jazzy and full of harmonies and man, I mean, just what we just heard beautifully laid down track, like with such care and the, I love the, the steady drums, you know, and it sounded really, really good. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's sad, you know, sometimes in the comment section, it's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm unsubscribing because you play elevated music. Come on. It's like, it's sad, you know, to hear. Um, okay. So this is, um, uh, made up mind just like that. This is from her latest, um, album, 2022 people imagine after this whole, um, shit show of covid and the whole end of the world bs um 2022 here we go can't wait i mean to to listen to what this sounds like all right here we go <laughs> Well, it starts out. 
Break of a heart that won't break no more Get our wet wheels in a straight line Serenade of a made up mind A made up mind Moonlight spotlight shining down on a made up mind Beautiful. Like I said, this is 30 years, literally over 30 years later um, from the last from the nick of time one. And she still sounds amazing. Like I said, aging like fine wine. Um, she just almost sounds even better. I mean, every like three decades, you know, she's just like owning, you know, the business. And uh, I'm so happy for her that she's still going strong. And uh, I'm so happy for this marathon. Thank you so much, Dave, for giving me a little taste of Bonnie Raitt. Um, what a legend, you know, in, in the music industry and in, uh, everything she has earned so far is well-deserved. Um, she's just amazing. Amazing musician, amazing composer, vocalist, everything. You know, she got it all. She's the full package. She got the looks, the accent, you know, everything. So... Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And um, check out that Dire Straits album, the first one that I was talking about. Um, it's on Spotify or YouTube. Um, give it a listen if you haven't, um, because Dire Straits is very famous for other songs, you know, like, um, you know, Brothers in Arms and, and, and stuff like that um, for their song. I think it's... Um, money for nothing check out their earlier stuff it's really really good if you're into this kind of music it's gonna really really um be surprising if you don't know what i'm talking about so thank you again so much for being here i'm gonna the assemble this microphone <laughs> right now literally from scratch and i'm gonna build it because it just keeps like dropping throughout the video and uh it's kind of like annoying so yeah i'll i'll just uh, the uh, the assemble it and assemble it back and I'm sure it's going to work. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. See you guys in the next one. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.